Hey everybody, Jake Marsing, 5280 Sports Network, 5280sportsnetwork.com, managing editor, Broncos beat guy, Nuggets columnist, part-time green chili connoisseur over at 5280SN. I am sitting down in a chair for this episode of the Broncos Big Board because Ryan Green is an inventive videographer who wants to try interesting things. So on this episode, we're going to switch sides of the field. We're going to be looking not at offensive players like we have. We're not looking at Christian McCaffrey, Mitch Trubisky, or Cam Robinson. You can check out those videos on the YouTube channel or on the site right now. Go do that. But today we're going to start looking at defensive guys, and there's no better place to start, in my opinion, than at a position the Broncos are going to need help with. He's big, he's strong, he's Vanderbilt's inside linebacker, Zach Cunningham. When I first started studying Zach Cunningham, I got really excited. He's a standout inside linebacker for the Commodores, and my initial film study on him was really positive. However, the more that I watch on Cunningham, the more that I felt some issues existed. He's a really good run defender, and he reads the field especially well. He really does a good job reading quarterbacks when he's playing zone coverage, too. But he's got some pretty big flaws that I'm having a hard time getting past. Let's bring Zach in here. Zach, can we pull a chair up for Zach? Have a seat, Zach. Is he is Zach is Zach in the shot here? Uh, Zach, you're big, you're strong, you're six four two thirty is what you're listed as. But I don't think you really play at six four two thirty. You look more like you play around two fifteen to two twenty, and I think your frame has a little bit more room to fill out, especially up here in your upper body. And you can really see it just by watching him. Thanks, Zach. I don't need you here anymore. Uh, you can really see it just by watching this guy. He's thin up top, which is going to make life really hard on him in the NFL because it makes it tough to tackle. And trust me, Zach Cunningham is not a good tackler. He's an arm tackler. Let's go to the film, take a look at exactly what I mean. So I want to show you two things about Zach Cunningham all in one play. The first is a positive, his ability to read a play, dissect what an offense is trying to do, and head downfield, try and make a play on the ball. The second is a negative, and I think it's a big-time negative, is inabilities as a tackler, or his difficulties as a tackler. This comes from a game last season against the Mizzou Tigers. So let's watch Cunningham here as we roll it. You see right away, he reads the play well, he makes a good break on the ball, and he's where he should be. He's in the right spot, but he just can't finish the play because he's not a strong enough tackler at the point of attack or where an offense is trying to go. He's not a good enough open space tackler for me to feel confident in his abilities as an NFL inside linebacker. Let's go back and watch it one more time. So you'll see right away Cunningham makes a look at the defense, reads the right play, runs toward the football, the ball carrier. He just can't tackle him. It takes a second teammate to do it because he's so high. He's so high on his tackle. You will never see an NFL running back or any kind of NFL ball carrier go down with that kind of a tackle. Cunningham is going to have to get good coaching to succeed at the next level if he's going to overcome this issue he has as a tackle. Zach Cunningham's a good player. He's an aggressive, smart, but the kid doesn't know how to tackle. And because of his frame, I don't know if he's ever going to really be kind of powerful force in the middle that I thought he could be when I first started studying it. But the million dollar question, can he be a Denver Bronco? My answer, probably not on Zach Cunningham. It's not as if Cunningham isn't going to be able to stick in the NFL. He can be a pretty good NFL player. I think Cunningham could stick potentially as maybe even an outside linebacker. But for me, it's going to be a tough sell to say that Zach Cunningham makes sense with the Denver Broncos. That doesn't mean he's not going to be a good football player, though. So let's get to my final verdict on Cunningham. He's been a great college player on a bad college football team, but the adjustment to the pros isn't going to be easy as long as he struggles to make open field tackles consistently. He's got a nose for the football and production that he put together in college is really going to appeal to a pile of NFL scouts and general managers. I just, I don't see him being the kind of game-changing dominant linebacker that the Broncos or other NFL teams are looking for. So look for him to come off the board somewhere in the late first or early second round, somewhere between 24 and 40 would be my best guess for him. I think that's really good value on him if you get him there any higher and I think you're kind of reaching but I think he's better off between 24 and 40 late first early second round that's good value my final grade on Zach Cunningham by the way is a B 
minus. That'll do it for this sit-down fireside chat edition of uh, the Broncos Big Board. Next time we're going to dive into this class. I want to look at the strongest position group, I think, in this class, and that's the tight end group. And we're going to start near the top with another member of the Alabama Crimson Tide, uh, the big tight end, O.J. Howard. Until then, I need you to do me a favor. Like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the guys that we have studied in this series, I'll have full written scouting reports available for you in the website. Go check it out there. Also, if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't, we have an app. It's a sweet app. Uh, next time we will talk about OJ Howard, but until then, for everybody at 5280 Sports Network, especially the guy who made me sit in a chair for this entire video. You're welcome. Uh, Ryan, thank you very much, sir. You're the best. Uh, Ryan Green behind the camera. We'll be back next time on the Broncos Big Board.